An Indian bear is learning how to treat his injured foot with a little help from the Reed Park Zoo keepers. News 4 Tucson's Jed Dodds has more. Quality care for our animals is the number one thing that we are looking at. And a lot of times that takes a lot of coordination between keepers and supervisors and veterinarians. We're going to listen to a story today about one of our Indian bears that takes just that. To help tell us that story is Rebecca. Rebecca, we are talking about Worf, who's one of our Indian bears. And what's going on with Worf? Uh, well, Worf developed a kind of what we call a bumble area on his foot. Basically, he was having excess skin um, growth, and uh, the problem with that is that he's a bear, and he likes to climb and dig and uh, run around. Uh, and what can happen with that is that he could get um, dirt and stuff like that stuffed underneath the foot and into the pad area, and then it can cause an infection. So as our area supervisor, you are working with your keepers directly and also with the veterinarian, and how, how are we helping this foot? Well, we start with behaviors that they already know, uh, like targeting, and initially we just put this tray in here with water, uh, slid it under the, um, under the door in the stall in the night house area, and then um, we used his targeting behavior where he knows to touch his nose to a target stick uh, and targeted him through it. So we kind of got him comfortable with putting his foot in this um, by doing that behavior, and um, it took about three weeks to get him to make the connection that what we wanted him to do for the behavior was to put his foot into the tray. Now he knows right away that the behavior is to put his foot in there and it's um, a really great time in the morning. We just sit there and feed him treats uh, while he soaks his foot. We can get some really great observations done and um, the great thing is that he has not had any foot infections since uh, we started this. And it's important to note that we're not in with the bear. Right. Um, so all this is done from, from protective contact, yes. from a barrier. Yep. Um, so this is really a communication that happens um, and a lot of yes. trust that's built up. Yes. Well, Becca, this is a really amazing thing. So congratulations on your training. And um, it's great to know that he doesn't have any more infections. And we hope for a healed foot in no time. And if you'd like any more uh, information on bears or anything else going on here at the Reed Park Zoo, you can always go to our website at reedparkzoo.org and check it out there. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Jed Dodds bringing the zoo to you.